Uh, now, the three of you uh, are on the couch because you are all in this big Disney movie, yes. Tomorrowland, A World Beyond. It opens tonight, and it's sort of a, a big, optimistic fantasy adventure. Is that... Yeah. Sounds pretty yeah. good to me. Good yeah, yeah, sounds great. Yep. You? Yep. Anything? Yeah, I'm with that. Yeah. And, yeah, and, Brit, and Brit, you do hold the whole story together. You I do bring some acting, these characters. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <laughs> so tell us about it. Okay. Okay. Uh, you do <laughs> the work. You. Yes. Exactly. Here I go again. <laughs> so I'm on the work. Hold on. Here I go. A little shot. So, uh, um, no, the movie. Well, I play. I play a young girl named Casey Newton, um, and she's just normal high school student in Florida. And she has this very unique perspective on the world. You know, she's she's an optimist. She's looking. Um, she's a dreamer, and she's she's hoping for good things in her life. And no one around her seems to be uh, doing that. And because of her very unique perspective, she gets to go to Tomorrowland. She meets this guy, this guy, and uh, <laughs> she. <laughs> it's got a slightly different flavor. I know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, Listen to you, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the story. Go see the movie. That's all I have for you. Could you have been, but if you had to choose, mm. I mean, I don't wish you ill, oh, no. but if something bad did happen to you, if you were feeling oh, a bit poorly... Oh, don't make her choose. Between don't the doctors? Choose. Yeah. Who would you go to? Would you go to Dr. House there? Well, it depends on the illness, because you were great with, like, specialty issues, right? You would yes. always oh, find, yeah. you would figure out Yeah, the it was problem. pigeon poo from Africa or something, or was it in? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. You were on a show called How. <laughs> <laughs> you know this. <laughs> no, I think if, I think, because you would always look, uh, you would look past the obvious choice, the obvious diagnosis, so, I don't know, he may have a one-up on you. Well, he does, because I was a pediatrician, so you're too old now. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. This is the right choice for me, I think. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep putting... I never quite understand this, but I read somewhere, Britt, that you had to learn, you were actually taught a movie star run for the well, actual Well, yeah. I mean, they tried for, like, five minutes. Well, but... I, could, I could work with that on you. you oh, know? could you? Oh, yes, I have. Is it a thing? What is a movie star? <laughs> yeah. Why was I not informed? You live. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Is that is that true? They gave it's you a, a movie? it's a true thing. Yeah, our, our stunt coordinator, um, Rob Alonzo. He, at one point, he was like, you know, if you're going to be in this movie and you're going to be running a lot, there, if you want to work on it, there's the thing called the movie star run um, because he worked with Tom Cruise a lot on the Mission Impossible <laughs> movies. I'm telling you, this is a real thing that really? exists. Well, Tom I does that like, thing, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, but it's like high knees, and you have to get you have to get the face yeah, working. Very good. Lots of reaction. <laughs> <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Right there, that one right there. Sell it. <laughs> 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 Movie star yeah. yeah. I get it. Something has to be blowing up behind you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> now I understand. <laughs>